Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so problem 17 here and uh, here uh, we can't just do u substitution or basic substitution. We have to do what's called um, trig substitution or trigonometric substitutions. Um, and that's why this is titled calc 2 as opposed to calc 1. Anyway, yeah, you learn um, trig sub for the first time in calc 2 and I have videos on trig sub so check those out. But yeah, here the substitution appropriate is to say that x uh, should equal uh, tangent theta. Uh, and you see we're substituting with a trigonometric function, which is why the technique is called trig sub. Anyway, um, why do we want this substitution? Well, this substitution makes possible um, for uh, this here to be like simple. And here's how. First, notice 1 plus x squared, the inside of the square root, would become 1 plus tangent squared based on our substitution. But we recall from trigonometry that 1 plus tangent squared theta is equal to secant squared theta. So you see this, 1 plus x squared, becomes that, which is that. So we can replace 1 plus x squared with secant squared theta. But then we have the square root of secant squared theta, so it just becomes secant theta. And because we have that cube right there, the de whole denominator just reduces to secant cubed theta. Yeah? Okay, so we like that a lot because that's simplified than having to deal with square roots. And that's generally why we want to make these trig trigonometric substitutions. Uh, they allow uh, for us to get rid of square roots. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so we've got like the integral of, and then we just said the denominator is secant cubed, so secant theta cubed. And for reasons you'll see shortly, I'm going to choose to write that as um, secant theta squared times secant theta. And you'll see why I chose to write secant cubed in the denominator in this way. Okay, and this is still secant cubed, so all as well. All right, now for the numerator, if this is um, x, which is tan theta, then dx would have to equal um, secant squared uh, theta d theta. And now you see why I wanted that denominator, right, or in that form. All right, so the numerator here in place of dx is this, um, which is um, secant theta squared d theta. And so we go boom boom so what we have is the following which is integral of um, d theta uh, divided by secant theta well this is integral uh, d theta divided by 1 over cosine theta but wait uh, we can write this simpler can't we we can write that it's the same as just the integral of cosine theta d theta, but that's equal to sine theta plus c. So almost at the finish line only, like we don't want sine theta, we want stuff that has to do with x. So we require this translation here. First, since tangent is uh, the ratio of sides of a right triangle, let's write uh, this is a ratio, which is x over 1, right? So we can write it, if we want, as a fraction as x divided by 1, right? So let's do that. But yeah, that's how we started, x equaling 10 theta, right? Okay, so uh, this is typical of trig sub questions, which is at this stage when you're trying to go back to the original variable, you have to always draw like this triangle I'm about to draw. So like, yeah, like this, you draw like... Um, a right triangle with an acute angle. Well, if it's a right triangle, it has to have an acute angle. So that statement was kind of silly, but um, you get it, you get it, you get it. Okay. So you do this, right? And then you go, this is the right angle, and this is theta, right? And then you go, we need tangent theta to be x. Um, over 1. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So in order for tangent to be x divided by 1, the opposite side needs to be 1 when the adjacent side, sorry, the opposite side needs to be x when the adjacent side is 1. And this keeps tangent theta to be 
as desired, x divided by 1. But then this labeling of the triangle means by the uh, Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse is 1 plus x squared. Hmm, we know we're doing something right because we'd seen that before, hadn't we? Okay, cool. What do they want here? Uh, sine theta. Well, sine theta would have to be opposite over hypotenuse. So there it is. And th that's how this triangle is helpful. X uh, and then divided by... Did I really need a ruler to divide uh, by? Yes. Makes it neater and it counts. That somehow counts, guys. Okay, cool. So this, uh, and then it's one plus x squared, right? Opposite over hypotenuse plus c, and we're done. Yeah? Okay, cool. Keep watching.